Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Machine Tutorials. Going to do a tutorial today looking at the browsing machine, the kind of column along the left hand side of machine here, and uh, some of the terminology used within this browser. Some of you might be very familiar with this already, more experienced machine users, some of you might be quite new to it. So, we start this library here, the library tab. We have two tabs here library and files. Most of the time, you'll be spent when you're using the browser in machine, you'll be you'll be on the library tab and below that you have these initially six icons here and the first one along is for your projects uh, so machine projects it kind of refers to just tracks whole tracks that you've created whether it's kind of drums and bass and vocal samples you know everything relating to that project you know is contained here so and you've got whilst we're on the NI icon here native instruments icon all the projects come up here that are included in probably various different expansion packs and um, just kind of like factory sort of projects that you get within machines so you can go ahead and just double click on one of these to load it up so contained within here is you know beats, bass lines, leads, Let's give it a play You know, and you've got tons of different projects. That might be quite a good way to just, you know, provide a bit of inspiration. You know, for a kind of new idea you want to get sketching a machine. You know, various drums and just kind of synth sounds and stuff like that. So, let's create a new project now. And uh, next to the project icon, you've got groups. And this is where you'll find all your kind of drum kits and various different kits really down here. And um, you can go ahead and just either double click on one of these to load them up. Or you can just sort of drag and drop these groups. So just kind of drag that 909 kit over there. And then it loads it in your, your group. So these are just like either groups of drums or groups of synth sounds uh, or groups of vocal samples. So got my 999 kit loaded in there. So down at the bottom, we've got some quite cool features here. This button to the left, the kind of circular with the kind of diagonal through it, that's auto load. So with that activated, if I'm searching for like a different kit and I want to just click on the 808 kit, it automatically loads it all in. So if I click on the Abbey Road vintage kit, take a second, but so it's just automatically going to load your kit and all the kind of like samples in here. So as long as that is kind of like highlighted, obviously you can deselect it as well. And next to that, we've got this enable load patterns option, which is pretty cool. So if I highlight this now and with the auto load kind of like activated, click on this Abbey Road early direct kit and it loads in all the patterns that come with a machine, the program patterns. And I can actually, I've got a couple of different patterns to choose from here. If I go over to sort of the 909 kit, automatically loads in those 909 patterns. Which quite can be quite a cool way to just, you know, provide a bit of inspiration to just quickly get some kind of like samples down and just a, a bit of a pattern going and then you can start tweaking around with the kind of MIDI in here and um, switching out the sounds and stuff like that so another cool thing is you can actually if we create a new project here discard this you can save your own groups so let's say in this group A1 here load in some, some kind of sounds quickly say kick So 
So if I like that kick, it's auto loaded it, so I don't need to drag it over there to the sound slot. Just load in some uh, sound two. Go clap. Go sound free, hi hat closed. And say so with these, quite like that sort of kit there. I can actually save this group. So if I go up here to the group slot, right click, save as, and just call it, I don't know, not nice hits and then if I want to just discard that and say you've got a different track going and you thought yeah I had a nice selection of hits there I want to load them into this project you can just quite quickly just call in nice hits there and yeah selection of drum hits just loads up automatically into your kind of into another project and stuff which is quite a cool feature quite a nice way of working I mean you could even go a bit deeper than that and start say right I've got this nice kind of beats going Uh, and then on the kind of group level, we can start adding some effects. So we just add some kind of maximizer. And just say we, we not only light the kind of selection of drum hits we had in there but we also like the kind of group sort of processing we applied there with the maximizer and the kind of some kind of bus compression we go save this group we could save ours and just give it a different name and we could just save it again we've got nice hits replace that and so now if we just kind of load up a new project just got that Open that nice hits. And that group's loaded up with the samples in there. But I also got this kind of bus processing that we applied there. Just kind of brings it in. So you could save groups of drums out from one track that you really liked. Just load it into another track. And you'd also get all the bus processing. Because if you like the bus processing, you wanted to switch out the sounds, you've got the option to do that. Uh, another feature for saving groups, save with samples. So you can save the drum hits as well that you've got here. Save with samples and then check that folder box and then we can save as. We could save it in here. Um, track 1. Save that. So now if I navigate to where the groups and the samples will be saved, you know, in documents, native instruments, machine 2, groups. I've got this track one, this group here, and I've also got the samples. So it's quite a cool feature if I wanted to take a machine project and groups and all these hits and I just wanted to consolidate it because I was taking it to someone else's computer. I've got the option to do that there. So next to the group function here, you've got sounds. So probably easier for load a new project again. Discard that. So this is where I we'll find all the sounds that various different sounds in here, drums and instruments um, that just come kind of loaded with kind of effects chains on and stuff so we can start kind of refining our search in here. And the cool thing about these sounds are, so I've got this sound here, it all kind of auto maps to the keyboard so I've got my MIDI keyboard here, I haven't had to set anything up, it's just automatically You know, for any of these sounds, it's just going to automatically map it right across the keyboard. Uh, and we can save sounds as well in a similar way to the, 
the way we saved groups before so so if I like that that kind of noise there that organ -y sound for right okay let's apply some chorus to this and a little bit of reverb and that's pretty cool right click on it and we can save as nice organ save it in sounds here and then we can call that up um, say on another group for example even we don't even need to load up another project I think right I call it up on another group and apply some different effects to it nice organ there it is with our effects chain set up on there so you know another way just saving out sounds if you really like the way you've kind of edited that sound and, and the kind of effects chain you've applied to it then just save it and call it up in other projects so next to sounds we've got instruments so any of your native instruments kind of like that you've got installed so FM8, Contact, Monarch and then you can just start refining a search for a kind of a patch inside Massive, a bass patch say upright bass, percussive it's going to load that up for us And in here, in this search here, if we want to start kind of searching for more than one thing, so at the moment if I just click from that bowed string to plucked string, it kind of deselects the bowed string. I go to read instruments, it deselects the plucked string. So if you want to search for multiple types at one time, just hit shift and it's going to select everything in between your first selection and the kind of next selection that you made. So hit shift again select from flute down to organ but say if I deselect one of those I want to, to search for organ and synth lead so on the PC it will be controlled on a Mac it's command with organ highlighted press command get synth lead so I can do kind of multiple searches synth pad and go down here Pos classic poly lead digital organ layered pad and I can start refining my search a little bit more rather than just in types and modes just select one thing for each kind of like search you want to make you can actually do kind of multiple sort of types multiple modes as well so which helps when you're trying to refine a search for a sound or uh, a synth sound or a sample or something so next to instruments you've got effects so all your kind of native instruments effects that you have installed so you can click on the solid bus comp uh, and it's just all the presets here for the kind of the solid bus bus comp kind of load up here close that go back in and just you know uh, driver all the presets for driver in here so that's pretty cool next to that you've got samples so this is slightly different to sounds in here you know it's a similar kind of thing really but um, this is just all your samples that come with with machine when you install it and all your expansion packs so load up in here and yeah you can sort of refine a search so I know like pulse work and uh, dark pressure are quite nice libraries for sort of house and techno hits and going to dark pressure drums kick and then just start looking through all these kicks in here and a cool feature here actually is say this kick faith I really like this here uh, I want to know where the sample is being kept for whatever reason you just right click on this find in finder and it shows me whereabouts on my hard drive that these kicks are installed so if I just wanted to kind of like copy that to the desktop or just load it up straight into like Logic or Ableton if you wanted to just have access to that sample outside a machine and that's the way to do it just right click on the sample find in finder so down here we looked at that auto load button before you've also got the pre here option whether you want the, the kind of sample to play that so obviously with that kind of like deselected I'm not going to hear the sample as I'm clicking through here select it again 
get it back. And I've also got a volume level for that pre here. And a couple of options to the right here. It's kind of I for information. So just some info about all these samples in here, kind of size and the type and stuff like that. And also edit. It's going to be disabled because it's a machine expansion pack, it's a read only item. So um, can't edit any of this, but these are all the properties and the kind of metadata for these samples. But if we close this up, go over to user. I've, I've kind of imported all of these samples myself and tagged them with some metadata and stuff so I can edit the metadata. So at this point I want to show you how to import your own samples and tag them with the metadata in machine. So say if I go from library here, go to files and this is how I'm going to import some of my own files into machine. So machine will read them, I can load them up on the hardware or in the software. So say if we go to files, desktop, uh, patches, presets, load in some, some samples here, go to waveform recordings uh, and then rather than say so if I go alright okay kicks rather than going into the, the actual folder itself I don't have any options at the bottom here once I go into this folder I need to just import that whole folder so um, kicks here import and um, then I can add a new name so I can go waveforms waveform recordings tech kicks and it's going to apply that tag to all of these samples that I import and then I can check the kick box there so now if I hit OK it's imported all of those samples so if I go back to library here and make sure I'm on the user not the NI icon the user icon waveform recordings tech kicks So we can go ahead and edit these and just start adding some some extra tags in there and say right okay yeah we want to say add drums uh, kick analog and we can add in any of these sort of like columns we can go right okay I want them to be uh, they're all distorted kicks you can add distorted so you can add your own sort of tags in there and just apply and so now you know if I want to put distorted in here all these kicks come up so it's quite a good way to just add kind of tags to all your samples so you can just search for them a little bit easier so another cool thing in here if we go into files what something I've started doing recently is um, I used to program a lot of drums with the XS24 in Logic so I've kind of created like sampler instruments in Logic and all the samples and stuff like that saved to my hard drive so now I'm in the process of kind of importing them to machine and just tagging them in machine and stuff so what you can do here is say right okay rather than having to do this kind of right okay go to my desktop patches presets instruments and samples what I can do here is right click on this EXS24 can add that to the favorites and then it comes up up here and go inside here and go right I'm going to be adding a lot of the sample magic kind of light samples so add that to favorites so you can start adding all of these to your favorites so they appear at the top so when you're when you go to do a kind of import some new sounds then you know you don't have to do that kind of like going through users and like Johnny Strenati desktop and stuff like that you can go right okay straight to my favorites here and right okay sample magic actually and just start importing those sounds so it's really useful especially if you've got like a folder where you keep adding new sample libraries to that folder and you just want to be easy you want to be able to easily navigate to that folder just to import the samples into machine then just add it to your favorites up here you can right click and remove from favorites as well if you decide you don't want them up there anymore so just a quick sort of workflow thing that really so so yeah that's the kind of browser really I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you found it useful any questions please get in touch and if there's any tutorial stuff you'd like to see covered on machineskills.com then please get in touch let us know and yeah I hope to see you again soon alright cheers bye